I can't believe Dad called you. You messed up, Kelvin. Of course he should call me. Is that how you're putting it? I messed up. What is it then? You date a girl for three years. And just when you are to grab that one opportunity you have, what did you do? You slipped off. Just because you couldn't keep it to your pants. I'm a man. And I have my needs. Which your precious princess cannot really allow. What am I supposed to do? Die from the blue balls? Damn. It means achieving our goals with her. Why the heck not? Sound like that. Yes. It's always your goals, your goals, your goals. Nobody give a damn how I feel. I'm a human being. Of course. I have my own feelings and my own desire. Yes, sometimes you consider me. Okay? Yes. Juju's less boy. So after the mess you made, you had the nerves to be out there with some girl on your bed. And of all the places you went to my hotel, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Kevin, can anything good ever come from you? Father, it's okay. I am sure he has totally repented from his sin. We should be looking for the way forward here. Kevin, you are going to rectify this mistake. How, Father? I don't know. Neither do I care. All I know is that I need things back the way they were. And when that is achieved, I want no time wasted. The wedding must go on immediately. And so will the transition. What transition? What is going on? You do not question me, boy. You just do as I say, okay? Really? Really? I have no say. Let me remind you. I am the one who is sacrificing his happiness, joy, everything on the altar of marriage. And you sit back here telling me I have no right to question you. Damn, father. <clears throat> Talk some sense into his stupid dull brain. I want this mistake rectified. And he is the one that is going to make it happen. Don't worry, father. I, I talk to him. Akoko Mogo. Hey, Kelvin. What the hell is wrong with you? That's not the way to talk to father. And you know it. What has come over you? Why are you so stubborn? Me stubborn? When I'm the sacrificial lamb here? Everyone is contributing something to make this work. You are not the only one here. What is it? For you? For dad? For family? What the hell is going on here? Why is everybody insisting I get married to princess? What is going on? Uh, you know, mom, I've been thinking that um, maybe we should do what father used to do when he was alive, you know, get people together, some sort of appreciation to the gods. What for, if I may ask? Oh, for so many things. One of which is, um, you know, saving you from that havoc of a man. Excuse you? Saved who? You. Oh, did you think it was your making that you saw through the cloak of pretense that he had worn all that time? Now, nah, come on now. It wasn't you, it was the gods. <laughs> now listen to me, Mobudu. I am my own person. I mean, I do not need any gods to know what a crook he was. That I kept quiet about his infidelity doesn't necessarily mean that I'm blind. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Stop fighting. I just admit it. Eh? Uh, it was the gods. There is nothing to accept. Absolutely nothing at all. I mean, I made my decision upon the evidence at hand. Nothing more, nothing less. I mean, I'm not as superstitious as you that always believe that everything must have religious machination to them. Mom, why is she talking like this? Eh? Tell her now. Tell her how it works. It wasn't you. It was... Listen, this is not a joke. No, oh, but can you let me rest for you? Can, can I be? Both of you should just shut up. What oh, 
thanksgiving to the gods? For what? For disrupting your sister's supposed marriage? You should be pleading with them to bring back things to normal the way they were before. Mother, what exactly are you talking about? Bring what to normal? We have gone through this a lot of times. And I've said it to you that it will never work, Mother. Now let me repeat myself. I do not. We're not and will never marry that loser, even if he's the last man on this earth. Never will I. And to you, Obodo, I do not need any sort of fetish wisdom from the gods. Because I was created with enough brain to be able to differentiate what is wrong from what is right. And not the other way around. So please, whatever you're doing, count me out. And I get in them, and I use an underside. Then you lose, and then you lose. I can have one more. My good people of Dunu Kingdom, I greet you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. As no na be here, pull it up, pull it back. Can you pull it below, baby? Ono, what has brought you to the abyss of the great priest? Ah. Uh. Obu if you are Lord, we the cabinet elders of Dunu. On the invitation of our prince, we have come with regards to his last prayer request he made. Amir thought the great deity of Dunu has been benevolent towards him and his family, and he has deemed it necessary to bring a cow and initiate a thanksgiving prayer. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Great gods of Dunu Kingdom, you have heard, you have seen the item your people brought to you. You are also aware of the gratitude behind the mind with which they present this item to you. I plead on their behalf that you show your blessings upon them. Guide them, protect them at all times. My dear Prince, O Kosis of Dunu, Mam Runu Kongwa, O Mekanaya, Mam Tarabuehi, O Fumakomu. The gods are happy with you. They have always been happy with you. They are still happy with you, and they will continue to be happy with you at all times. May the blessings, protection, and guidance of the gods ever be with you now and forever. He says. Ndege <laughs> Then you could then get and then can work and then can wine. Never none day, she shall not give you a fabu no for Guabu no Guadusabu no Samuabu no more. As soon as you can have one, and then you know, none in you. Not to for two time. I'm back to an attack as my dad to a job with your name, do 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 no no. Cagro call your seal, or you're like a killer, no, the lena for the one I'm calling upon your group of Brugo.
You see, I'm in a position to confirm to you that it is true. The alliance our late king forged with Chief Cosmos of Labada Kingdom has been broken by the princess. Ask me why she did that. <laughs> what a good today. Well, in as much as I'm concerned, I don't know what went on between those two. But I'm happy that the tie keeping us and Abada Kingdom has been broken by the princess. Why? You know I never liked that boy. Or anyone from Abada good enough for the princess to start with. Why? You see, the fact that it is broken is not an issue. But, you know, with this alliance now, the princess is now back in the market. But I only hope there is a son or there are sons of Dunu Kingdom who are able to make her theirs. But at times like this, ah, I only wish my only son had not gotten married yet. Mm. Hmm? Well, I doubt if any son of Dunu will entertain the idea of marrying her. How do you say that? You know how the princess behaves. She is a hard nut to crack. Mm. Had not but let me tell you something with the right hammer and the right amount of pressure yeah even the hardest knots mm. yeah. i want to see the prince now madam and I, I, we said you cannot not now i must see the prince it is important allow me madam, madam. allow me in you that your ear is not working or what you just don't like Shut up, I, I want to see the prince this is the people's palace. I had the right to see the, the prince. Okay, this I had the right. It's my right. It's not only right to have you. You also have left to to go outside the palace. Hey, what is going on, my prince? Now this woman, oh, my prince, you left strict instructions. Except for emergencies, which I believe is the case here. I've told you guys that this place is the people's palace. The people have the rights to come here, whatever they choose to. Huh? Let her through. Woman! We are sorry, my prince. We'll talk to you. Sorry. My prince. This way, please. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. What is the matter? My prince, please, I need your help. I need your help. What happened? He's a GAD. He took everything from me. I have nothing else. It is fine. Calm down. Huh? Walk with me. Thank you, my prince. Let's talk inside. Thank you. Are you sure this man I'm looking at will make it as the king of this kingdom? He is too soft. What he's supposed to say is, God, throw this woman out. Slap her out of the palace. He said, get coming. So you mean to tell me that he did all that? My prince, he took everything, not even a single bar of yam. Everything, he took all of them. He didn't leave anything for us. My vegetables, they are all gone. My prince, how do I survive with my kids? We are hungry. How do I survive with my kids? How do we cope? Why would a JD go against my judgment? My prince, he did. He didn't pity us. He did. He took everything. He didn't Everything. I'll handle it. Mm -hmm. I'll handle it. As for what you and your children will eat, um, it's not a problem. I have you covered. I'll have um, the guards bring some items to your place. Okay, to take care of. Mba, my please, Biko, I didn't mean to bother you, Biko. Please, don't bother yourself. I don't want you to disturb yourself about what we will eat. We will manage, Biko. Oh, Biko. Please, 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 get up. First and foremost, I'm human. You don't kneel to talk to me. I am not a deity that people kneel to worship. I'm human like you. And secondly, you're not disturbing me. Tackling and dealing with the concerns of my people 
It's top priority for me. And it's not going to change. It's going to remain that way. Okay? What affects you affects us all. Huh? And thirdly, and most importantly, this is a royal palace. We have enough items that can see to the needs of many families here. And we're not going to run out of stock. So please allow me. Get the guards to send some items over to your place while I'll handle each aid. How does it counsel? The last time this case was brought to this court, I passed a clear judgment that abates Ichie Idi from stepping into that land or taking any produce from that land. Am I right? Yes. You are right. <clears throat> so why do I have this woman coming back to me? after a couple of weeks to complain about the same issue. H.A.D., do you have any reason for going back to that land which clearly does not belong to you to harvest farm produce that again does not belong to you. Ichidi, I'm asking questions and I want answers. I made myself very clear on this matter months ago, did I not? Well, you did, my prince, but... But you decided to flout my judgment, Ichidi. What is wrong with you? Why are you so wicked and mischievous? That is a poor widow. What do you want her to do? Do you want her and her children to go hungry? Will that make you happy? Is that what you want? I ask you. My prince, I've not done anything wrong here. What I did is actually in line with the tradition of this land. My late brother that you speak of died without a son. And tradition bestowed on me the right to take over whatever thing that belonged to him. Every single thing he left, his lands and everything, they all belong to me, including this woman who will always come here to complain to you. She is my property. At least learn to uh, uh, take care of what you have before seeking another. Yeah, meanwhile. Well. You can barely do justice to that woman. Mm -hmm. just to the woman. Yes. Uh, Ichi, stop coveting your late brother's wife. Oh, you are not What are you saying? What is coveting my and what are you saying? Hmm. How can a human being covet what is his? The woman you're in question is my own property. Tell you said so. Ichi, it would interest you to know that certain cultures and tradition have gone through evolution since civilization set in in this country. Ichi, what you have done is a clear act of wickedness and inhumanity, and such acts will not go unpunished. You know what you have done. Ichedi, clearly an act of theft and crime against the earth. It will not go unpunished. My prince, I don't, do you understand what you are just trying to do? I am still talking, sir. You are going to go back, you take everything that you have taken from that land back to that woman. Henceforth, you are not allowed to step your feet into that land or any land that belongs to your late brother. Do you hear me? It is his family's property and so shall it remain. Do you understand me, J.D.? Can't you talk to him? Do you understand him? No, 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 no. A man like him who has inherited the ancient instrument of power should not be making outrageous proclamations. It's J.D. 
These are not outrageous proclamations. You are going to do exactly as you have been told. Else, there will be consequences. Consequences that you will not be able to bear. And finally, you're hereby suspended from the Council of Elders for one month. What? Yes, you take that time to think of the problems that you've had. Not just with that woman, but with everyone in this community. Think of your life. Purge yourself. Repent and become a better person. And come back to us as someone who is willing to work with us to move this community forward. Oh, does it cancel? My rest. You will all agree with me. Just like my enemies will agree with me that I have been very clear on this matter. No, I, I, are you not going to talk to me? About what? This riffraff. You have finally touched the tail of a lion. And I am going to roar. And I am going to tear you into pieces. What is it tonight? You're not looking your normal self. My beautiful wife, I am fine. I am just thinking like a man. And if you don't mind, I will want to be left alone. Please. Okay. Should I get your food now? Okay, don't bother yourself. I will call for food when I am ready for it. I agree that what Iche Idi did was wrong. But suspending him from the Council of Chiefs and Elders is a bit too much. I mean, it is too harsh. Harsh as how? Why are you talking as if you were not there or had everything the woman said? I know, but. There are no buts. Why would Iche Idi go back to reclaim all the property that belongs to his late brother? Because true to the prince's word, they are not his. So he shouldn't have gone there, especially after the verdict has been reached last time. Asking him to surrender those things is not my problem. My only problem is the suspension. I mean, it's too wrong. It's, it's all wrong. It is not wrong. It is not wrong. The prince is right. You know JD has this no certain attitude. No certain attitude that makes him think highly of himself all the time. It is good to see that he has gotten a taste of his own medicine from a young man who will never compromise in the application of the rules of justice. You are right. Uh, you are right, Ichi. Uh, uh, that man's pomposity hmm, ruffles me at times. But I have, honestly, I have a problem with the prince. How do you a mean? problem with the prince? The prince? Can't you see? He is stepping on too many toes and he's sparing no sacred cows in his so-called application of the rules of justice. Ah, some men may go all out to silence him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you think any man can harm our prince? Huh? It is not possible. Mm. The gods of Duno have been with that boy since his conception. No harm can befall him. I hope so. I hope, I hope, I hope so. <laughs> what is wrong with you, son? You can't continue doing things like this. Doing what exactly, mother? Helping my people. 
Why not? By letting them leech out on our food storage. Come on, mother. We have more than enough. So why not? What about you? You are not a deity. You are human. And there is no way you can please all of them. Son, you can't continue suspending cabinet members over baseless accusation. At this rate, you end up with none. At this rate, with all due respect, mother, I don't care. I am not going to have a man of such reputation in my cabinet. A man who represents greed, a man who does not care about his immediate family members. How do you think that kind of man would deal with the entire community? Mother, I have never failed you. You have to trust me. I know exactly what I am doing. You do? Yes, Mom. You are sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> because from all indications, it seems you don't. Mother, if your suggestion is that I let that man remain in my cabinet, a man who can stand back and watch his brother's wife suffer, why he can us all that is accrued to her for her survival without any sense of remorse. Uh, that permit me to say that our thinking on this matter is different, mother. Oh, but these are lawmakers. <sighs> they are the custodians of this land. Once the third reign comes, you'll be crowned king. So this is a trial moment for you. And it's better you don't get on their bad side. Uh, Mom, man cannot be made king when the gods have not approved. Ultimately, the gods are the kingmakers. I want to be that kind of king, mother. A king made by the gods and not a king made by men for their selfish reason. Not a king made by men for the manipulation of the rules of justice, mother. Please. How else do I explain this to him? That he can't fight this man. Fighting them is like fighting your own existence. 